In this video, I'll show you how you can easily animate a path line in After Effects, and I'll be using a path that I made in Illustrator. And I'll also show you how you can change the speed of it, so how it starts off fast and kind of slows down, and I'll also show you how you can change the color over time. So here's the artwork I made in Illustrator, and if I go into wireframe mode with Ctrl and Y, you'll see here are my paths. And if I just select one of my paths and drag it, you'll see that it's disconnected. And this is how you will want it to be. It would not work if it was all connected as one path. And honestly, I don't know how I would even do that. And then you can import these layers into After Effects. If you have any issues importing your layers into After Effects, I do have a full video dedicated on to how to do this. So I would recommend checking out this video on screen. There is a card you can click, or you can also check the description for a link below. So here are both of my paths in After Effects. As you see, they are separated. And uh, let's just right click on our layers create and then create shapes from vector layer now we can just delete our original dot ai files and i want to just start on my first vector path so i'll hide my second layer and then just drop down this vector shape you'll see where it says add you want to hit the little play button here and then add a trim paths let's drop down this trim paths menu now i know i want the entire animation to be two seconds long but i want each layer to be on screen for one second so let me just drag this out to one second and then add a keyframe for my start and end. Now let's drag this back to the beginning and then make my end 0%. So now if I drag this through, you'll see that my stroke goes along that path. Now let's go ahead and enable our other vector shape, drop this down and add a trim paths as well. Now I know I want my second vector shape to come on screen right in the middle of my first shape. So let's go to the 15 second mark and go down to our trim paths on our new vector shape and then make the start and end zero. Then let's drag this out to two seconds, which is how long I want my full animation to be. And then let's just drag the end to 100%. Now if I drag this through, we'll see that the animation plays just the way I want. Now what happens if your path is going in the wrong direction? Because I want this to go up and down, which is exactly what's happening, but what if it's going the opposite way? You can reverse the direction of your trim path by going to your group, and then going to your stroke, and then selecting this icon where it says reverse path direction. And then it will change the direction of your path. Not bad, but we can make this look a lot better and more dynamic by changing the speed of our keyframes. And we can do that by highlighting our keyframes and then right clicking on them, go into keyframe assistant and then choosing easy ease. And now it makes your keyframes start off slow and then kind of speed up near the middle and then slow back down near the end. And let's just do the same for the other path. So right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. And then let's just go ahead and play this. So not bad, but we can do even better. Let's select our keyframes again, and then go to this icon here where it says graph editor. And now here you can see how the speed starts off slow, speeds up, and then slows down. So let's highlight these keyframes. And I want it to actually start super fast and then slow down. So let's just make this handle slow down and drag this to the center. So as you see, it starts fast and then slows down. So let's play this. And now let's do the exact same thing to the other path. So highlight these keyframes, graph editor, select these keyframes and then make it slow down near the end. Now let's go ahead and play the entire thing. And as a final touch, let's change the color as the path comes in. So let's have it start white and then fade to red. Let's go to the middle way mark between these two keyframes, which is the 15 milliseconds. Let's select our vector shape. And then you'll see where it says stroke color. Let's enable our keyframe stopwatch. Let's go to one second when it's complete and then make this red. And then that automatically adds a keyframe. And let's do the exact same thing with our second vector shape. So let's go down here. Let's say when it is done at two seconds, it is red. So now let's go ahead and play this and see what we got. And that's how you can easily animate a path line in After Effects. If you want to learn how to animate an object along a path, I recommend checking out this video on our channel. And the link is also in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.